I, most of you will be having a confusion like how to use Google Meet and it's very much needed in current situation because of the lockdown and other stuff. So if you're using Google Meet, it will be helping you to do things such as like a meeting for your office, take online classes or even to communicate with your family and friends. It's very useful. So here in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Meet and if you like it, please put a like and subscribe my channel. So let's see how we can use Google Meet. If you want to use Google Meet, you should have a Gmail account. Once you have the Gmail account, please log in. I have logged in already. So once you log in, you have to go to these tiny dots, which is called as Google Apps. You have to click on it. Then you will be able to see the Meet. You just have to click it and it will be live. Or otherwise, you can go here on Google Meet directly using the URL meet.google.com then you can get into the Google Meet. Once you get into the Google Meet, there are a lot of functionalities which helps you. Like you can on the mic, off the mic. Also like you can on and off the camera. Also there are settings which you can work on with. So different settings are available here. See, I have taken the settings. So a pop-up window will be appearing. Once it appears, you can set your microphones here. If you have multiple microphones, I have few microphones here, etc. So I can select any of them which I want actually. In case like if you're taking a class or something, you might need a little bit quality wise microphone. So also the speakers, either the headset or the speaker, you can set it here. If you want to change the video, including the camera or like the video quality based on your internet speed, you can change it here also the resolution is available then there are some general settings which is not so mandatory so we don't have to worry about it then there are other options including reporting a problem help also like a caption which we will see later so in case if you get into the google Meet, what will be the things you will be doing one is like you don't have to directly show yourself you can directly present in that case it's, you can click on present and you can directly present without showing or revealing yourself on the other hand okay you have to conduct a meeting there are two things you can join the meeting or you can conduct the meeting so i'll just click on join the meeting now i'll be the live person right so i'll be going with the joining the meeting Once so i get in here uh, all the windows will be set everything is down and my icon will be shown here the whoever the participants it will be listed up here so here are only participant available is me so i'll just try to add one particular person in that case i can go and copy the mail and i can invite them or i can send this particular link here and i can copy and send the link to them in case if i'm making a meeting and i need to show a lot and lot of documents in that case i can set here on the attachments you have a google calendar there you can set the files which is needed for this meeting and those things will be shown here so whoever in the meeting will able to assess these files also okay also there are several different other features so i'll start with very simple things first one is like in case if somebody is presenting anything okay he has to be on the podium then you just have to click here there will be a pin mark which will be showing that means like that person is the one presenting so you can remove it by just clicking it okay if you want to chat it is also possible here is the chat options which you can use while you take the presentation or if you are doing meeting or something there is some other really cool features here one of them is like the caption so now you can see like whatever i'm speaking it will be shown on the screen. Google helps you to use this in different ways. One is like a regular caption based meeting or like there are people who are not able to hear. For them, this will be really helpful. Also like there are ways you can present also. There are different ways you can present. You can see here, you can show the whole screen or you can show one specific window or even directly the tabs in the Google Chrome. See, whenever you use a Meet, I will suggest you to use only Chrome because this is set in that way that it works perfectly on Chrome. And also there are dots here also. It is same as like which you have seen before, which will be showing you the setting options and all. But other options available here are like you can change the layout of your Meet settings 
you can go with full screen also these are additional things which is available while you present it so this is the basic concept of meet if you want somebody to invite you can do it in different ways one is like sending invitation like selecting the email address and sending them the invitation other one is like you can click on the meet and you can copy this and send to the groups maybe any of the instant messaging groups such as like Viber, WhatsApp you can send them and ask them to click and join so this is the basics of Google Meet in the normal laptop or desktop so other than that there is some additional features you can add one is like you can go with Google Calendar this question will be like how are you going to start the meeting basically you can just do like the way I did or like in a professional way you can go to Google Calendar and you can set a meeting time in a particular date so here I'm going with Nan and I'm going to click a meeting here so how do I do it I'll click and I'll say like Google meet training and I'll be setting all the time details and things just like in the normal calendar but one additional thing which I'll be adding is like in case if you want to add the guest you can do that okay in, in to that uh, additional thing which I'll be adding is like add Google meet video conferencing so once I add it I can copy this and send to all the participants you can see like up to 100 participants it is possible then I can save it so once I save it this meeting will be set for that particular time this is another professional way you can do it basically as a teacher or like a professional company you can use this setting for advanced invitations